A division. You can see Kira Cairns with Ruby's Rascal, the St. Ledger champion, running out of trap one for Mark Wallace. Rosalina Reggie runs out of trap two, led up by his trainer, Jason Bloomfield, the Henlow trainer for the Apollo UK Syndicate. He won the six bend competition here at Toaster 12 months ago, did Rosalina Reggie. Plenty of confidence behind the next Greyhound for the Nicely Does It Syndicate, led up by Nathan Hunt. It's the Philip Simmons train, Ridgedale Max, on the back of some cracking trial work. Bubbly Big Eddie's a big boy, 34 kilos for Paul Young and the Champagne Club, a syndicate Miriam Young doing the parade. Bangor Ella runs out of trap five for John Mullins, Lee Calcutt. Justin Cranfield and Chris Waters. And Claire's Carl Torn runs out of trap six, led up by Tony Harvey, husband of June Harvey, owned by June Harvey, the Regency champion. Claire's Carl Torn runs out of trap six. It's a high class lineup for Star Sports Derby Stayers A. Uh, Daryl, I know you've got one or two problems, but you can use this. Four to six players, Kyle Torn at the moment, and uh, very, very popular choice, Hobbs. Welcome C4. back, Daryl. I don't know where I've been the last hour, but uh, anyway, I have been here. I've just been talking to myself. Claire's Kyle Torn, four to six. I've done a great job, though. Uh, winner of the Regency. It is 11 to four about Ruby's Rascal. Of course, TV Trophy runner up and Ledger winner. So some real stars here. Five to one, Richdale Max, who's a fascinating runner, of course, with that great record over the six pens for Phil Simmons, very popular choice at a price. Big price is everything else. The likes of Rosalina Reggie at 10 to one, who won this race last year, remember? So 12 months on, could we be in for a repeat for Jason Bloomfield and the team? 12 to one is Bangarelli for John Mullins and Bubbly Big Eddie, the Champagne Club members are out in force and they've got a, a whopping price, Greyhounder back at 20. Five to one. Which way do you play, Claire's Carl Torn? For me, on the outside. But I've got to take short. We've got to take short if we're with June mm -hmm. and Tony Harvey's runner, Hobsey. Yeah. We'll still take some winning, won't it? Albeit the the betting suggests that uh, it's trap six. Who is as uh, we speak four to six with uh, Star uh, Sports on uh, the board there. As people are looking over, I can see plenty of familiar faces up the top even Roger Hart who's often down here but he's with the hoi polloi at the How moment has he of course. got the night off that's and unbelievable he's raising a glass to us he's very much rubbing it in there's Jamie from Priority SMS who do such great work of course via the low six and of course the big cash giveaway which we are going to do for the next race as well one or two faces I think from the horse racing world as well who uh, I'm sure I've seen Mr. Del Monte. Is that Mr. Bridgewater up there as well? I kind of think it is. Could well be. It is. Jimmy Austin, I can see at the racing post. Martin Wakefield, of course, who's had Droopy's Jet amongst other Dar Derby finalists. I can see him in the house. The eyes aren't what they used to be. Someone tells me a certain John Clark from The Only Way is Essex is in the house as well. I won't let you know where he is, ladies. We'll keep that as a secret. But we're counting down to the Star Sports Derby uh, stairs. The runners are behind the traps. They will shortly be loaded. I'm trying to spot Steve Nash, and I can see him on the second bend there, of course. Greyhound photographer extraordinaire, looking and preparing his shots, of course, for... Nash PLC, Jim Tate's in the house as well. We should really have a children's race, race six. I haven't had the nod. I think there'll be too many people on the presentation, but we should have, uh, we should. Uh, the, uh, there you go, I think Josh and Miss Collier are kicking on with their uh, libations, but they are going in. Messrs. Lismore and Clark, get away from those glasses of champagne and do some work, boys. And once again, the low six hair is on the move then for this Star Sports Derby. Stay as a favourite in six, Claire's Kyle Torn. Stand by for action. 
Oh, Van racing away, there's five, the pops out in front, Bangarella for John Mullins, leads the charge, early Dawson, three up the inside, Ridgedale Max leads around his first bend, then the early pace, Ridgedale Max leads round from five in the second spot, Bangarella two in the third, then comes the one dog, Rubies Rascal, past the judge, then with a circuit to go, and it's the three dog, Ridgedale Max and Phil Simmons, leads by a good four, five lengths now, from five back in second spot, then comes the four dog, Bubbly Big Eddie, down the far side now, though still trapped three, Ridgedale Max, can he last home here, still the tasty advantage, they approach this now, final couple of turns, four now is closed in second, then comes the five, Bangarella approach the final turn now though still Ridgedale Max led at the first bend can he hold on bubbly big Eddie's coming for him as is the sixth dog Claire's Goldthorn but up towards the jolly old judge it's Ridgedale Max he's done enough now off this front end three six four here Ridgedale Max led at the first turn and stays on well enough to deny the favorite Claire's Kyle Torn here three beat six in this Star Sports Derby stay as a clock you called it Ridgedale Max popular winner for you mate Indeed, yeah, was available at a big, big price early on this morning and was very well supported with a lot of the firm. Star Sports reported good money taken as well on the outside of Phil Simmons. Was backed all the way down, about about 9 to 2, 4 to 1 chance last show, but it was Ridgedale Max who was out-trapped by dogs on his outside, but that early speed, he paced up, he grabbed this race by the scruff of the neck and made all in fine style. He came back to the field, but that was expected, he burned up a lot of petrol early on, but what an exciting charge for Phil Simmons. Only 19 races, that is now win number eight, but look at this early speed, Andy. Yes, yeah, just gets inside Bangarella, was worried right about the draw of Bangarella, didn't matter because she popped out in front, but then the early boot of Ridgedale Max has carried him to the corner. He's uh, taken off down the back, stretched a good six, seven lengths clear of the field. It was four, Bubbly Big Eddie moved in the second down that far side, and six has come from nowhere, Claire's Carl Torn. I said it right that time, to challenge close home, but it was job done at this point. Ridgedale Max was tiring a little bit, and was entitled to tire a little bit, as six was flying, Claire's Carl Torn, but uh, he's done enough off this front end as Ridgedale Max for the nicely does it syndicate, and trying to fill Simmons from Romford. There is on screen once again a confirmation of the time, 41.28. That's not hanging about. 41.28, the winning time for Ridgedale Max here in the Star Sports Derby Stayers Division A. He's been on a bit of a roll of late as Ridgedale Max, and he's kept the good times rolling here at Tota tonight on Star Sports Derby final night. Trotting back proudly then to the presentation area, a hard-earned win for Ridgedale Max. Pat has got the cup of tea at the ready. Perhaps the champagne is on ice as well. Dorotas Vic runs for you. Good to see Tracy, your daughter, and Martin, son-in-law here as well, representing Team Lister, along with all the owners of Dorotas Vic. And what about the Irish contingent, Peter Cronin and Larry O'Shea, the Dublin publican, whose punters, whose clients, whose uh, regulars at his pub in Crumbling in Dublin are, are all on each way. They don't need to be bought uh, a drink. He doesn't have to say free drinks on the house. They can afford it themselves. They've already got the each way money. Will they get the win money as well? And in terms of the bruisers, boys, high up in the stand, they've had nervous energy all week. I think they peaked around Wednesday for the Derby lunch, of course, and Billy Ball, ever the spokesman. He has been on television more than Daryl Williams, I think, uh, this week.